Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm showing you how to cook a freezer meal in your Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen and I am the second sister from Six Sister Stuff. Now usually we used to share Instant Pot recipes on Monday, but if you've noticed, we are sharing all of our new Instant Pot recipes on Sunday. So if you're wondering where I've been, go on to Sunday. That's where you'll find me. Now, making an Instant Pot freezer meal is super easy. Cooking in your Instant Pot is super easy. So I'm actually excited to show you this one. So you have a few different options when using a freezer meal. You can either one, keep it frozen, or two, put it in the fridge the night before so it will thaw out enough that it will make it easier to put in your Instant Pot. But lots of times, I use the freezer meals when I'm in a bind and I just need a meal quickly. So I'm gonna show you a few tips of what I do when it's all the way frozen. So if it's completely frozen, you're actually gonna stick it in the microwave for about two minutes. It's not going to hurt the plastic or melt the plastic. It will thaw it enough that it will be easy to put in your Instant Pot. It will also give it a little bit of liquid, so it will make it so it can pressurize instead of getting like the burn notice. Um, this one we had put in our fridge the night before, so it's all ready to go. This is how I like to cook it myself. So all you have to do is open it up. You're just gonna stick it right into the Instant Pot. You wanna try and get as much liquid out of the sides as you can. Sometimes with these sauces, it sticks to it, so you just wanna try and push as much sauce out of the bag as you possibly can. Okay, so this is my sweet and tangy meatballs. Now I want you to look really quick. There is not a ton of liquid in there. So if you have a recipe that's like that, that has some sauce, but not necessarily a thin liquid, then you need to add about a half a cup to a cup of water and just dump it right inside. Now if it's frozen and you can't really tell, it's always safer to add a little bit of water instead of just nothing, because you don't want to get the burn notice. So once your food is in and you've looked to see if you need water, then you can put the lid on. Now for this specific recipe, it cooks for about seven minutes, but you have to think when you're doing freezer meals, um, I usually try and give the cooking time, but you have to think, you know, you need to cook the meat. That's the most important thing. It's okay if the vegetables are in there a little bit longer, but you just need to make sure the meat is cooked. So if you have chicken, if it's thawed, I would cook it for about 20 minutes. If it's frozen, 25 minutes. If you have a roast, you need to cook it for at least 90 minutes in your Instant Pot, whether it's frozen or thawed, I highly suggest 90 minutes. So you kind of just need to go off of the meat and that's how long you'll know to cook it for. Now if you need a little bit of help, down below in the description I have a little cooking guide that I'll link you to so it can help you out a little bit if you're cooking without instructions. But for this recipe, all we have to do now is we're gonna push the pressure cook button, we're gonna go down to just seven minutes and we'll just let it cook from there. Now if this is frozen, it will actually still just cook for the seven minutes because it's already pre-cooked meatballs, so they're super easy. They, they'll cook for the same amount of time. Once it's all done cooking, we're gonna turn the little knob to venting just to let all the pressure out. Once all the pressure's out, go ahead and open the lid and you can see all the meatballs. Now the juice kind of goes to the bottom, which is expected. We're just gonna mix it all around. Now, if you don't like it with this much liquid, you can go ahead and push the saute button, get out some of that liquid we put in. But to be honest, like, I feel like this is perfect amount of texture and my kids, my kids absolutely love it. So you can either put this on like rice, cauliflower rice, or you can just get a toothpick and it's like the perfect meatball appetizer. So I'm just gonna dish it up for you so you can see. All right, and that's how easy making freezer meals is. Now, I have this recipe for you. I'll put it down below in the description. I'm also making this as a freezer meal for Sunday, so you'll see how I put it all together. I just wanted to make sure that you knew how to make the freezer meals. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you want to watch our freezer meal videos, make sure you click on that video right there, and I'll see you next week.